Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to discuss about measurement of body temperature. Let us understand what is thermometry. Thermometry, it is the method of recording the temperature of the body. And it is done by the instrument named clinical thermometer. Normal body temperature is 36.3 to 37.1 degrees Celsius or 97.3 to 98.8 degree Fahrenheit. Lethal core temperature, lower lethal core temperature is 26 degrees Celsius. This leads to death due to cardiac failure. Okay, it can cause death due to cardiac failure. Then upper lethal core temperature that is 43.5 degrees Celsius approximately. This can cause death of the individual due to heat stroke. Different sites where you can measure body temperature are oral, axillary, and rectum. Out of this, oral and axillary sites are commonly used sites to measure body temperature. See the instrument. This is the instrument named clinical thermometer. See the tip. This one. There is a mercury. And see, this is the column. Right. See the kinking. Here there is a small kinking which will prevent the mercury to fall down. Okay. Whenever you measure the body temperature and mercury level goes up. Okay. It by because of this kinking, it prevents the falling of the mercury. Okay. See the markings on both the sides. One is in degree Celsius and another one is degree Fahrenheit. Let us see the video. See the instrument. See the tip. There is a mercury. And mercury will be raised in this column. And both the sides you can see markings. One marking is in degree Celsius. On the other side it is in degree Fahrenheit. This is how you are supposed to hold thermometer. Always hold thermometer from the other end where mercury is not there. Okay. Never hold thermometer from the uh, tip of the therm uh, clinical thermometer where mercury is there. Okay. Always hold it on the opposite side. Now let us understand how to use clinical thermometer. Various steps are, first what you have to do is you are supposed to wash the bulb of the clinical thermometer but in clean water or in antiseptic solution. Second step is you dry it. Okay. And third one is by shaking movements of hand, you keep mercury level down, bring mercury level down in the thermometer below. 35 degree Celsius. Okay. By shaking movements of the hand, you are supposed to bring the mercury down below 35 degree Celsius. Let us see this. Like this, you are supposed to move the hand. Shaking movement of the hand should be done like this and bring the mercury down. Okay. Below 35 degree Celsius. This is another variety of thermometer which is also used commonly in clinics. Uh, this is digital thermometer. See the instrument. See there is a tip and the, on the other hand see there is a display. Okay. Here you will be able to see the recording here. Okay. This is here. This is switch on and off button. Okay. So this is digital thermometer. Now, let us understand how to measure oral temperature. Okay. For that, what you have to do is 
after cleaning uh, the clinical thermometer and by shaking movement of the hand once you bring the mercury level down below 35 degrees celsius then you have to place place the bulb of the thermometer see this one place the bulb of the thermometer below the tongue of the patient and ask the patient to keep the mouth closed okay then you are supposed to take the reading of the temperature body temperature after one minute okay repeat and take a recording each time increasing increasing the duration by half minute till three consecutive readings three consecutive readings do not show any change in the temperature okay so that is how you can measure oral temperature now in which patients you are not supposed to go for the measurement of the body temperature by oral site that is in children in unconscious or semi conscious patients okay there is a possibility to break the thermometer okay in such patients there is a possibility that they break thermometer and mercury will spill so it is avoided okay it can also be modified it can also be modified by local factors local factors like warm or cold break okay so if uh, you are measuring the body temperature by oral route and a person has just taken warm or a cold drink in that case you will find little alteration in the reading now let us understand how to measure body temperature by axillary site okay always remember this is 0.5 to 1 degree less than oral temperature axillary temperature is 0.5 to 1 degree less than oral temperature for measuring the body temperature uh, through axillary side what you have to do is uh, as i told you that first thing you are supposed to clean the bulb of the thermometer then uh, by shaking movement of the hand you are supposed to bring the mercury level down dry the thermometer right then you have to wipe out wipe out the perspiration wipe the perspiration from the axilla then put the thermometer like this put the thermometer between the folds okay see this one then record the temperature after one minute okay you are supposed to put the thermometer in this fold and ask the patient to put the hand like this okay and holding the thermometer in the fold of the axilla right and take reading after one minute repeat and take reading each time increasing half minute duration okay repeat and take reading each time increasing the duration by half minute till three consecutive reading till three consecutive readings do not show any change do not show any change okay so that is your perfect reading of body temperature now next one that is rectal temperature rectal temperature is not much performed okay it reflects the core temperature more accurately and it is nearly one degree celsius more okay one degree celsius more than oral temperature now let us understand how to assess the effect of exercise on body temperature to perform that what you have to do is you are supposed to perform stepping exercise 30 steps up or down in one minute okay and record body temperature on axillary site okay and after stopping the exercise note the time taken for the temperature to come back to normal so what what you have to do here is first you have to measure basal body temperature okay then you have to perform the exercise okay then after stoppage of the exercise start taking reading after exercise 
ओके टेक रीडिंग्स ऑफ बॉडी टेम्परेचर आफ्टर स्टॉपेज ऑफ एक्सरसाइज एट रेगुलर इंटरवल एंड नोट द टाइम फॉर द टेम्परेचर टू कम टू द नॉर्मल ओके नोट द टाइम बाय विच बॉडी टेम्परेचर अगेन रिचेस टू द बेजल लेवल ओके एंड देन यू आर सपोज टू प्लॉट दैट वैल्यूज ऑन ग्राफ एंड एनालिज इट now let us discuss some important aspects related to fever increase in a diurnal variation increase in a diurnal variation of body temperature more than 1 degree celsius okay or you can say 1.5 degree fahrenheit or rise of the body temperature above maximum normal body temperature is called as fever okay there are three classical types of fever seen in clinical practice first one is continued fever okay see the word itself says continued fever here temperature remains high throughout the day at no time does it touches the base line diurnal variation of the temperature is not more than 1 degree celsius but temperature remains high throughout the day and it does not touch to the basal value okay second one is remittent fever here temperature remains high throughout the day and at no time it touches the base line diurnal variation of temperature is uh, not more than 2 degree celsius then third one that is intermittent fever here fever is only present during several hours of the day okay it is fever is present during several hours of the day and it remains to normal for rest of the day this intermittent fever can be of many varieties that is quotidian tertian quartan or irregular intermittent fever now let us understand the first one that is quotidian fever when the paroxysm of intermittent fever occurs every day then we call it as quotidian intermittent fever then second one is tertian intermittent fever when the paroxysm of intermittent fever occurs on alternate days then we call it as tertian intermittent fever then quartan when two days intervene between consecutive attacks of fever then we call it as quartan intermittent fever then irregular intermittent fever when the paroxysm of the intermittent fever occurs irregularly then we call it as irregular intermittent fever so this is all about how to measure uh, body temperature and some important aspects related to it thank you so much